Today on Strength Coach Tutorials, I'm going to show you how to take multiple Google Sheets worth of data and then import it into a single Excel table that is going to be live and merge all of the data together. This table will automatically update whenever you enter new data into your Google Sheet, thus making it a live document that you can use for any of your monitoring or dashboard projects. Okay, so in order to start this project off, what we're starting with is two files. We have a Google Sheet that has our performance data on it. In this case, we have a tab that has all of our back squat data on it, and then another tab that has all of the bench press data on it. And I've just made the headings different colors so that you can tell when I'm on different files. So we have the back squat and the bench press data. And then I also have a blank Excel sheet where I am going to import this data to, and then I'm gonna merge it into a single table that is gonna be live so that when I update the Google Sheet, it's automatically going to pull that data into the Excel sheet. And the reason you might wanna do this is Excel is a little bit more powerful on the analytics and data visualization side of things, but Google Sheets offers an amazing opportunity to have a cloud-based solution where you could have multiple people inputting data or have all of your data stored in the cloud so that you could access it from anywhere and then have a single Excel dashboard that lives maybe on your hard drive or your computer that you access locally to kind of analyze all that data. Okay, so let's get this process started. And the first thing that we need to do is go back to our Google Sheet, which we're at now, and we're gonna have to publish this Google Sheet to the web. And what that means is basically just making the Google Sheet live so that it is accessible from other kind of programs. So the way you wanna do that is on your Google Sheet, you'll just go to File, and then all the way down to Publish to Web, and there is an option here, and what we're gonna choose is the entire document, and because we're gonna access this in Excel, we're actually going to change it to an Excel, and then when I hit Publish, it's gonna ask me, are you sure? I'm gonna hit OK, and you can see now it gives us a link, okay? And if I go down here to the bottom, another important thing to have clicked on is automatically republish when changes are made. And that means that when I make a change in my Google Sheet, it's gonna automatically upload that data back to the web and then allow me to access that in my Microsoft Excel document. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna copy this link here. So I'm just going to take this link that it's created, Control C, and then I can close this. I'm gonna go back to my Excel document and open up a tab and what I'm gonna to go to is the actual data tab. And on the data tab, you're gonna see a couple of options in the top left. And we're gonna use a thing called Power Query, which allows us to pull in some data into Excel, okay? So the one I'm gonna choose is from the web. And then what I'm going to do is paste that, um, that URL in here, and I'm gonna hit okay and it's going to kind of connect to that document. And what you'll see is it's actually going to load in my document and you'll be able to see my two kind of data sheets right here. And if I was to add another one, you'd be able to see that in here too. So let's just load one of them in and see what happens. So I'm gonna select the back squat data and I'm gonna hit load and it's gonna give me some options. And you can see what it's done is it's actually loaded that data in on a new sheet and there is all of our back squat data and I will make this a little bit bigger and let's go back to our Google Sheet and make sure that this is working. So if I was to add a new date, 01-19-2020 and Chuck back squat and let's make it a thousand just so that we know that it is new data. You can see that Google Sheets has now saved it up to the drive and if I go back to my actual Excel document, I can hit um, under table design, I can hit refresh, and it should pull that data in. So there's my Chuck's back squat at a thousand, okay? So that would be how we would load in one set of data. Now what we wanna do is actually merge a couple of sets of data. So I'm going to delete this off of the side here, and I'm just gonna hit delete and I'll hit delete. And you can see that it's taken that out. I'm gonna delete this sheet 
and hit delete. Okay, so we'll go back to our data tab and I'm gonna hit from web and I'm gonna paste that in there and hit okay. And I'm gonna click this box to select multiple items. Now, if you had already um, loaded in one item, you can go back and load in more. You don't have to do this all at one time. So I'm just going to select multiple items and then under load, I'm just gonna put load two and it's gonna open me up a box and I'm gonna say only create connection. And what that means is it's only gonna load the data into my Excel sheet, but not actually create a table for me um, that pulls that data in like we did last time. So I'll hit okay. And you can see on my queries and connections now, it is actually adding those two in and we have the back squat and the bench press and they are both sort of loaded in there. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to go to one of these, right click on it, and I can go down to what's called append. And append, what that's going to do is stitch two tables together. So if I click here, it's going to open me up a menu, and I can select the option for two tables, or if I had more than that, I could select the option for three or more, but I only have two right now. So I'm going to take the back squat and then the bench press, and I'm going to hit OK and it's gonna open me up the Power Query Editor and you can see what it's done is it's taken those tables and it's actually pushed them all together. So there's all of my back squat data and then down here is all of my bench press data. So I'm gonna hit close and load. And you can see what it's done is it's actually now pulled all of that data in. Now a couple of things that we, we might wanna do here we have all of that data in there, a few things. I'm gonna resize this, so I'm gonna open it up a little bit bigger. And all I did was select the columns and then drag it out. And then when I click here, this acts like a normal table. So I can go to table design and I'm gonna give it a new kind of name, TBL underscore data, like I would do with most tables. And then under here, there's an option for properties. And what this does is every time it loads in the data, it will adjust the column widths back to be as small as possible. But if I click here, the column widths will all stay the same. Okay, but there's a few other options in here that we might wanna play around with. I'm gonna hit okay. Under query, what we can do is under the properties, we can also select a few different things. Enable background fresh, that means it'll load in the background without me really um, worrying about it. Refresh this connection on refresh all, so every time I click the refresh all button, it's going to refresh. I can select that I want the table to update every time I open the file. Um, but what I'm gonna select is refresh every, and I can put it down to however many minutes I want. So what that's gonna do is if I have that selected, every however many minutes, it's gonna automatically look to see if any new data is um, available and automatically download that and put it into our table. So I'm gonna turn that off for now, hit okay, and we'll go back to our Google file and we'll add in some more data. So let's go 01, um, 20, 2020, and Tim, back squat, 5,000, and we'll add some bench press data in as well. 01, 19, 20, 20, Chuck, bench press, and let's say 9,000, just to make the numbers ridiculous so that we can see that they come in there. So there was Chuck's bench press of 1,000. If I come back here and go to my table design and hit refresh, and once we've hit refresh, you can see now Tim's back squat of 5,000 is in there, and then Chuck's bench press of 9,000 is in there. So I hope this trick helps you out. It's a really powerful trick if you want to have all of your data living in the cloud and then being automatically downloaded to a local file where you are analyzing it or doing any of your visualizations. So if this video has helped you out, please like and subscribe to the channel and share it with someone else that you think might find some value in it so that I can continue this channel to grow. And I'm trying to put out new videos every Monday and Wednesday to help coaches and sports scientists with their data projects. I will see you in the next video.